Hey guys, it's Marissa. So today I am going to be talking about how to deal with change and or loss and grief. So it's something no one wants to deal with, but eventually we all do. So hopefully my tips will help you and by no means am I a prof professional at this. I don't have a degree or anything, but these are just tips from my experiences and what I've learned on how to deal with loss and grief. And I do have experience with this even though I'm very young. I have two family members, one who died last year and another that's terminally ill. So I thought that I could try and help you guys if you are going through the same thing. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video helpful and keep on watching. So my first tip is to understand that no one grieves the same way. There's the five stages of grief that you always hear about and at least from my experience, I'm not like those stages. Not everyone goes through all of them in that order or maybe even at all. It all just depends. You can go back and forth between the stages. It's not like you're sad, now you're going to be bargaining, now you're going to be in denial or whatever. It doesn't work like that, at least for everyone. So just understand that even if you're not going through the stages like the internet says you should, you're still normal and you just need to allow yourself time to adjust and accept that your feelings are normal. I know a lot of people try to hold it all in and just pretend it doesn't exist, but that doesn't make it better in the long run. You have to allow yourself to feel the emotions and the sadness and give yourself time to adjust, whether it's to the loss of a family member, the loss of a pet, which in my mind is a family member, or a move or a change to a new school, you just need to give yourself time to adjust. Just because someone hasn't died doesn't mean that you don't have a right to feel sad or scared or however you feel. My second tip is to keep on doing the things that you love. I know that it's easy to just want to crawl into bed and not climb out when you're feeling sad or upset over changes or loss, but in the long run, that's not good for you. Of course, if you need a week or two to just relax and, you know, shut out the world while you deal with your feelings, then sure, do whatever helps you, but you can't keep doing that for an extended period of time. You have to be able to go out and do things and be involved with the things that you enjoy or else you're never going to be able to lift yourself out of that sadness and that grief. My third tip is kind of related to the last one. It doesn't even have to be, you know, going to a party or something major in terms of going out when I say get out and do stuff. It could just be go for a short walk or go talk to your friend or just go to the gym, just anything to get yourself out of the house and out of your bed and to distract yourself or maybe have some enjoyment. Just because you're grieving doesn't mean that you can't have moments of happiness. And it doesn't mean that you don't miss the person or you didn't appreciate them. They would want you to be happy. So try to be, you know, active in the things that make you happy. My fourth tip is to not hold it all in. As I said earlier, that ultimately does not result in healing. You have to write in a journal or talk to someone about it or just even filter through your emotions yourself. You know, really think about them and think about why you feel the way you do and how can you move to the next step. My fifth tip is to know as I said earlier, that everyone deals with change and grief differently. Just because your friend seems happy or cheerful doesn't mean that they're not feeling sad or experiencing the same emotions that you are. So don't compare yourself to other people in general even because you never know what they're internally going through. 
seven or six, I forget which one I'm on, but my next tip is to not be afraid to get professional help if you need help getting over what has happened, the change or the loss or whatever. It doesn't make you less of a person, it doesn't mean you're not strong or whatever. It takes strength to know that you need extra help and you want to get better and you want to feel better. So yeah, just do whatever you need to do in order to get to the other side. You will feel happy again even though it doesn't feel like you will now. You will eventually feel happy again. You will eventually feel normal again. It's not going to be forever even though it might feel like it now. I promise if you really want to, you will get to the other side of it. My next comment slash observation is that grief comes in waves. Some days you might be happy and feel like nothing happened and the next day you may feel like you are just so sad that getting out of bed is just unbearable, undoable. And that's totally normal too. It, you're not a freak if you have those emotions slash change of emotions. I promise you're not. It's normal and eventually, as I said, it will get better. And if you have a religion, turning to your faith can help make you feel better. Turning to your friends can help you feel better. And just knowing that you're not alone will help you feel better. Literally everyone on earth goes through some kind of change or loss at some point in their life. You are absolutely not alone in your sadness or any of your feelings. So yeah, I hope this helped you guys. And if you are struggling with change or any kind of loss, my thoughts are with you. And you can message me or comment down below and I will reply to you. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.